awesome. A new movie based on a video game. These are always great. Of course! Maybe the sarcasm is unfair. There are some video game movies that aren't absolutely terrible. Case in point, 2001's Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Now, I'm not gonna tell you that movie was a masterful cinematic achievement, or even good for that matter. I know. But there was a sense of fun to be had with the endeavor. The movie knew what it was and embraced that to a degree. The same cannot be said for this reboot. Lara Croft, Alicia Vikander, is a bike messenger who does very poorly edited fights at the local gym, and who is really a secret billionaire who refuses to accept her father's inheritance because... Well, I assume it's because she refuses to believe that her father is dead. How the movie gives no real evidence of this. It all bothers me. If she believes him alive, then why not use his fortune to find him rather than engaging in bicycle races across the city for money that she could already have? Why bother pawning the priceless heirloom her father gave her when she could make the money with a simple pen stroke? We're in Act 1 and already have huge problems. It's hard to get invested with a character when their actions make little to no sense. This is a critical flaw for Tomb Raider since the majority of the movie is spent with us watching Lara go through various adventures alone. We know she won't die because that would make a short movie, so we had to be involved with her story and her as a character. We had to be convinced that she faces real peril and could fail. Instead, we couldn't care less because her actions are not that of a human being, but of a character going through story points. It's clear this movie is going for a far more realistic tone than its 2001 counterpart. In theory, that should be fine. In theory, communism works. It would bring the movie closer in tone to the clear inspiration for the entire series, Indiana Jones. This movie loses much of the cheesiness of the original movie, but also loses the fun. A story about a woman who goes into ancient tombs and looks for a treasure while solving puzzles and evading exotic deaths sounds like a fun movie. We do get some of that in the third act, but by then we've already gone too far into the rabbit hole of the dull, boring environment of the rest of the movie. Tomb Raider manages to cut out all the things that did and didn't work in the 2001 movie and results in a dry, pointless movie. It goes to show you, some tombs are best left unrated. Hey, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. And if you really love this video, consider visiting my Patreon page.